Hey folks, welcome to Wolfpins Gaming Den. Today we're going to unbox the game Wonderland's War, uh, published by Druid City Games and Skybound Tabletop. This is the deluxe version, which has recently been sent out to the different Kickstarter backers, so there's going to be a bunch of extras in here that you may not have in the regular retail version. And, uh, well, one dead giveaway is sort of like the sheer thickness of this box, because uh, it is heavy, and there's definitely a lot of components inside, is would be my guess on this one. Now, uh, because it is the deluxe version and it is the Kickstarter one, you did also have the option to add on uh, poker chips uh, with these. So uh, basically the version that I got came with this box outside. So I'm assuming the poker chips are going to go in here. And these uh, also came in the delivery as well. There looks like there's a bunch of poker chips inside. So for this uh, unboxing, we're going to crack into all of these and see what uh, the different components are. We'll come back to this poker chip box as well as these poker chips near the end. But we'll start off with the main game box itself. So let's maybe put aside uh, the poker chips for now. We'll uh, move that so, and we can focus our attention on this particular box. Now, uh, it is of course based on Alice in Wonderland or you know, through the Looking Glass uh, IP. Uh, and the artwork is definitely not just evocative of that, but it takes on a, a slightly darker, uh, grimmer look, uh, sort of like on that. And I love the art style from what I've seen so far. So I'm expecting good things inside once we crack into it. Now, if I move these around quite a bit, obviously I've spoken about the thickness of the box, so that's definitely there. Uh, the game is designed for two to five players, so it looks like there's not a solo mode in there, which for me is fine because I'm not a, I'm not that much into solo gaming. Uh, but if you are into solo gaming, then keep that in mind. Uh, in terms of time, it is designed for 25 minutes per player, so roughly 30 minutes per player. So if you're looking at a full set of uh, four player or five player game, it could run a while, uh, two hours or north of two hours, I would assume. And probably if it's the first game, a little bit longer than that as well. Now, if we flip this over, we can see there's some lovely artwork going all over uh, the box itself. Uh, if you want to put it uh, vertically on your shelf, there's definitely gonna be artwork that can sort of like accommodate that. Uh, and then on the back, we can see uh, sort of like a little bit more about what we can expect to find inside the box itself. Uh, there's going to be a board, cards, uh, different pieces. Uh, it says one, draft your abilities, two, build your bag, three, fight for Wonderland. So there's definitely a bag building component to this, uh, similar to Orleans or uh, uh, what's the other one? Automobiles, if I remember correctly. So uh, I'm excited to see what's inside this one. So we'll crack into this. Uh, oh, Quacks of Quedlinburg. Uh, how could I forget that? That's another famous uh, back builder that's out there. So without further ado, uh, and no more waiting, we'll crack into the box and see what's inside. Uh, so I'll apologize maybe just a little bit in advance because it is a big heavy box. So as I move this around, I might be, uh, there might be a lot of pumping. There might be, cameras might be shaken uh, as it were. So I apologize for all of that in advance uh, should we come across any of those. But uh, overall, uh, I do like the aesthetic of what I can see in the box. Uh, it's uh, slightly simplistic, but at the same time, beautiful. Uh, the artwork is definitely very suited uh, to a game of this style. Now, there's a little bit of embossing. I'm not sure if you can make that out or not uh, uh, over here where uh, it looks like there are eyelashes for the cat, but uh, it's it, it might be a little bit harder to tell on screen. And if I flip it around, again, the artwork uh, on the sides uh, are definitely impressive. And of course, we saw the back earlier, so we're not going to spend too much time on it. Uh, but there we go. So that's that. Now, with that said, let's crack into it and see what we have inside. Uh, definitely a heavy lid. Uh, standard inside of the lid. I mean, it's a, a thick one, but uh, it, is, it is what it is. Uh, you get a catalog, which we're not going to worry too much about. We get... What do we have here? Uh, up to date on additional resources. So if you sort of like a look at post-release content, uh, you can get that in here, that's fine. We get a nice handy dandy rule book. Uh, it is, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, let's bring it back. Now, there is quite a lot of content in here by the look of things. And as I look at it, uh, again, it gives you the setup of the game, the components that come in it. Uh, let's see, uh, gameplay overview, turn-by-turn turn structure, uh, tea party card effects, ally card sets. Uh, so there's a lot of visuals in here, which hopefully will make learning the game a little bit easier. Uh, so that's good. Uh, so don't, 
I, I, I would say let's not get turned off by sort of like the length of the rule book. Uh, now, this is interesting. It looks like there are separate rules for a two-player game where you might be adjusting some of the setup or the rules. So uh, hopefully that makes a two-player game tighter uh, and that makes it a little bit more uh, appealing. And then in the back, uh, iconography, waging war. Now this definitely looks a little intimidating, uh, but uh, from what I've heard from some people, it looks scarier than what it actually is at the end of the day. So I'm gonna hold my judgment on this uh, after I figured out the rules. Uh, but there's definitely, looks like there's steps to follow when you're sort of like fighting, a, uh, when you're in a conflict or fighting a war, as it were. But overall, quality of the rule book is definitely nice. It's your typical square rule book. Quality of the paper stock is good. Uh, and again, lots of visuals uh, to sort of like hopefully help you learn the game a little bit easier. Uh, so that's that. Now, the one thing I'll call out about the box before we go any further is you have these uh, ridge ridges on the two sides, which hopefully makes things as you're pulling out a little bit easier. So that's good. Uh, we get a bunch of bags. Now, I don't know if these were extras or if this were just part of the deluxe version, but, you know, there we go. So we have the bags in here. Uh, these are decent sized bags. I mean, my hands are not small, uh, but I can fit this all in completely. So that's good. Each one of these has a different color, as you can see, but you also have different artwork representing a different character uh, from the game itself. So that's good. Uh, now, these are, they feel like cloth bags. These are definitely not silk bags or anything, but I, I, I like the quality of these so far. These are definitely on the sturdy side. So it's, it's all good on that front. Uh, what else do we have? We have some gems, uh, black colored ones. I'm not gonna spend too much time on all of these individual things. I assume that some of these might be uh, from the regular uh, uh, retail version because I, I do think that these might actually have minis uh, in the game itself or, oh, well, I might be mistaken, we'll see. It's been a, it's been a while since I've uh, looked at what's in the box itself. A uh, bunch of wooden dicks. We're not gonna spend too much time on these. Uh, again, we have minis, so we may not need to worry about this, but if you're playing with the standees, and I'm assuming there's going to be a set of cardboards in here that will have the standee punch-outs, uh, you're looking at these, and these seem pretty standard. I'm just going to pull one out. Uh, it's pretty it's pretty standard, nothing uh, much to write home about, and there's definitely quite a few, so it looks like we're definitely going to have a bunch of characters potentially in here. Now, these are gems that are a little chunkier. Uh, hopefully you can make that out. Uh, these definitely look nice. They definitely have a nice feel to it. It definitely gives you a larger gem uh, kind of a feel. Uh, wooden pieces might be some sort of a scoring marker, so we're not going to spend more time on that. Now, these might be individual player pieces, I think. One, two, three, four, five. I think it might be. So, and it looks like they all come in different shapes depending on the color in question. So this is uh, for green. Let's see, uh, red, if you can make that out. Uh, da -da -da -da. Purple, that looks like a, a teapot, doesn't it? I think it does, I think it does. Uh, what else do we have? We have, well, I don't know if it's a, like a meeple or not, but there you go, that's there. So you have a bag of these as well. And then lastly, we have the purple, or sorry, the pink one, rather. Uh, so that's that. So that's five bags for five of those colors. Uh, this we can remove and get it onto the side. So again, this is where the ridge makes it easier for us to pull some of these out. Yeah, make some space. Now these are uh, the miniatures that you might be playing with, I would assume. And I, uh, again, I guess these are in the different play colors. Uh, it's a good level of detail. Uh, I mean, not the highest level of detail I've seen. I've definitely seen games where the level of detail might be higher, but I think this is uh, definitely good enough uh, for a tabletop game. So that's there. These are really nice. These are nice and chunky. I like these. And there we go. That's your uh, teapot right there. 
I am really curious to see how this is going to be incorporated into the gameplay. Like, these look uh, really, really nice. Uh, Skybound Games have definitely uh, done themselves proud with the quality of this one. So you get a, a so this is obviously done by Game Trees, as we can see by this logo. You get the embossing of the name over here. Uh, there is this lid which makes holding all of these in place a little bit easier, which is great. You get a uh, bunch of other menus on in here. I'm not going to spend too much time looking at all of these, but I'll pull out a few key ones so that we can have a look at it together. But you do get these two additional storage spaces where maybe you can put down something. So we'll figure out what goes on in there. Um, but we do get uh, nice, more nice miniatures. And these definitely look like they would definitely be a sort of like a nice uh, candidate for a paint job. Yeah, these are these are really nice. Oops. Uh, goes the other way. Let's bring out, I believe this might be the, or the queen. So we'll have a quick look at that. We get, uh, what is that? It looks like a dragon, but I don't think that's a dragon. Maybe it's a dragon. I don't know. Um, and then this last one here on the bottom row. Good level of detail. I, I, I like this. I'm really happy with this, uh, the way that it's looking so far. This, of course, is Alice. I think. This might be the Mad Hatter, right? That's your uh, rabbit right here. Uh, what else do we want to have a look at? Uh, let's look at this, which is uh, some sort of a sword set in stone, maybe. I don't know. There's a bit of an Excalibur thing going on in here. Again, I don't remember all these characters from the books, uh, but yeah. Oh, and this is uh, the Cheshire cat, or the just the cat maybe, I don't know. Uh, nice, it's obviously upside down, you can see the head here, so that's neat. All right, so we're gonna skip the rest, but it gives you a good sense of the quality of the miniatures in this here, so that's good. Let's move this off to the side for a second so that we can bring the rest of the box back in for us to have a look at. So we'll do that. Now, we have a book of sorts, uh, A Tale for Tea Time. That's intriguing. Uh, nice, you get a nice little book as well with a, a story. This is, yeah, this is really cool. Different chapters, right? You got some lovely artwork. Uh, peppered throughout as well, which is which is nice. This is, I can remember this one. This is definitely a nice little, uh, I mean, it might have been mentioned in the Kickstarter, but uh, I mean, I've forgotten. So for me, this is a nice little surprise. I'm definitely excited uh, to crack into this and see what's in here. So we'll move that to the side. Uh, we have an envelope with something inside. What could it be? All right. Let's see, we get some art prints these are really nice you could uh you could frame these up you could uh, put them on your wall or uh some other means but th this is really 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 nice again not something i remembered from the kickstarter but again it's there and uh it's a nice stock quality paper uh could have been maybe a little bit thicker but again that's I'm, I'm nitpicking honestly at this point uh I, I i really like this again a huge fan of the quality of the artwork inside the box so uh definitely appreciate having these so i'll i'll hopefully find a good use for this rather than just sticking this back in the box uh and having them forgotten uh we'll we'll figure out a good use for this so this is good stuff all right so a comic book and some art prints so far really happy where this is going uh, we have the last set of tray and we'll pull this out and we have more stuff at the bottom, but we'll come back to that in a second. Let's see. This I'm assuming is the game board, which it is. And it looks like it's definitely going to be a giant game board. So we'll, uh, move that box over there and try and see if we can spread this out to give you guys a good view on it. 
Right. So as you can see, definitely a full sized uh, game board. It's uh, single sided. The other side is uh, uh, black. But uh, again, visually, uh, it's definitely striking. Uh, bold colors going on in here. Uh, the only thought I might have is that maybe it's a little uh, busy and it's a little difficult to just tell apart. Again, I, I don't know the rules for the game, so maybe this is going to become a whole lot different. Uh, my view on it might become a whole lot different once I do. But it's just a little difficult for me to figure out spaces, specific spots on. I mean, I see a battle track here. I see a points track, I assume. I see these spaces. Uh, maybe these spaces. Like, is that all that it is? Nope. There's some more uh, spots over there. More spots here. Uh, maybe this is going to get a whole lot easier once I actually get down and play the game itself. But uh, definitely bright, definitely colorful, uh, and I definitely like the aesthetics of it. And I feel that maybe the business of it might uh, dissipate once I've uh, gone into the rules itself. So uh, don't, you know, don't get too sort of caught up in that comment of mine. Uh, now, what else do we have? We have. Uh, Player boards. Well, we got this upside down. We got player boards, which is it's not cardboard. It's uh, really thick stock paper, so that's good. Uh, double sided, so maybe there's like a alternate variant that you can play with. Uh, yeah, and you get how many of these? One, two, three, four, five. So five of these, one for each player. So that's good. We got a bunch of Ziploc bags, so we're not going to worry about this for now. Uh, we got a bunch of cards. Let's have a quick look at the quality of the cards themselves. All right, so uh, this is good stock. Uh, I'll call that out. It's thick, uh, feels good. It definitely has a good feel on the cards themselves as well. And again, visually, uh, aesthetically, these look really, really nice. Now these are all quest cards, all quest cards, right? So that's that. Now we get a bunch of these, well, are these all quest cards as well? Let's see, let's find out. some quest cards which would look similar to the earlier deck uh, we get some wager cards uh, by the look of things these are for the different players perhaps so you're betting on something and you get the different player prints on this side so you're betting on something or the other uh, on that one we get some smaller cards as well we'll have a quick look at what these do Assuming we can crack into this sometime today. There we go. All right. So these are number three. And then on this side, we have, uh, well, I mean, icons. So maybe these are action cards or uh, bonuses that you might get. Complete a quest feed from your hand. So objective cards, maybe, for some of these. And then some of these might be action cards. Uh, and then there's a cost of some sort, I assume, or maybe a benefit of some sort printed up there as well. So, uh, well, I mean, we have cards, so that's good. Uh, and it looks like we have more cards. So these were uh, on the back, they all had three printed on it. These all have two printed on it. So I'm guessing it's a similar setup, uh, kind of a setup. So I'm not going to go through all of these. And then these are one. So three tiers of decks. I don't know if it's going to be for three different rounds or three different eras or whatever that is. So you have those. You get dice as well. Uh, not the biggest dice, but definitely big enough, I would think. Uh, and you get uh, one, two, three, three different kind of values in it. Uh, one, obviously, I assume is probably the most common. Uh, and then three, I can see only once, and two is only twice. So, oops. Uh, rolls fine enough. I'm happy with this. Uh, and then we have some larger tarot sized cards. Let's see what these do. Uh, so it looks like we have an ally reference card of some sort, D party turns, maybe these are like reference cards, white rabbit, duchess, naval hearts, what do these do? Just says W on the back for Wonderland, I would assume. 
uh yeah so these look more like action cards uh so you're playing with these i would assume for a large chunk of the game and then you get uh eight cards i don't know if these are going to be different or not but we will validate it on screen for you guys so let's crack into this and see what's happening inside there we go we got more ally cards uh these are a's yeah these are a's uh they have a slightly different look so these are the text on the top artwork uh, underneath it versus these which have the text at the bottom artwork over it there's lettering on the sides as well which maybe does something numbers on the sides uh, so something for us to figure out as we get into the rules. Uh, but overall, again, stock quality of the cards I'm pretty happy with. Uh, and so far, generally, everything that I've seen, I'm actually quite happy with as far as the quality is concerned. And uh, obviously, we have the bottom lid right over here. So that's that. Now, let's bring in the rest of the box. And we're back. Apologies, we have to cut there for a second. Uh, but let's uh, power on. So we get, if we look inside here, uh, the flowchart that we had seen earlier on. So you have the waging war flowchart on the side uh, we have the tea party flowchart on the side iconography details and whatnot uh, so it looks like it's a giant reference sheet of sorts and there's only one of these so uh, this is probably going to get passed around i would assume uh, quite a bit uh, again not cardboard but it is thick stock so that's good uh, I, just, I just wonder like would you be able to continue the game once you've played it a few times without necessarily referring to that because it does seem like a lot of detail to get through in the middle of a game. Uh, but uh, we do get a bunch more of these sheets, cardboard punch out uh, tokens and whatnot at the bottom of the box right here. And I would ass and I assume that some of these maybe we don't need quite as much. I, I assume these are sort of like uh, the one where we get the poker chip replacements uh, with the, the version that we have over here. Uh, but these we probably will still need because we uh, saw those spots on the game board where you had the uh, uh, spots for these markers to go down. So we'll we'll probably need those. Uh, I assume this might be a points thingy where you cross 50 points, you flip it to this side and keep it in front of you. Cross 100, you use this side. So we get to see those for different players. Uh, thickness on the cardboard is all right. It's not too bad. Uh, and everything seems to be punching out quite well. So that's that's definitely a positive there. Uh, it does come with this nice indent, which makes it a little easier to pull it out. But overall, this thing was a little shorter uh, than the size of the box itself. So it would have been easier to sort of pull these out anyway. Uh, but again, it's a nice touch, which I, I do appreciate there. Uh, more of these punch out tokens, more uh, of those. Uh, I assume these are scoring markers for the different areas. Uh, uh, points markers, uh, tokens that you might be doing your pack building with. Uh, more of these. And then lastly, uh, if you are playing with uh, without the miniatures, I'm assuming that you'll probably use these as your punch out tokens in there. Uh, and they all seem to be punching out well enough, not too bad. Uh, and again, even if you are, don't have the deluxe version and you are just playing with the sort of like your regular standees, uh, I, I would say that this is, this is it, it does look good. Uh, and I assume this would look fairly attractive on the game board as well. So it's not... It's not such a bad thing. So, you know, if you're looking to pick this up in retail without the deluxe extras and whatnot, I think you're still in for some good quality components uh, and good stuff uh, in the box to look forward to. So that's there. Uh, you do get some of these sort of like, you know, ads for uh, the other games by the publisher, Tidal Blades, Grim, Masquerade, Sorcerer City. Uh, yeah. But otherwise, a quality of the components, everything so far definitely has been excellent so i'm very very happy with those and then of course uh, as you can see it's uh, quite a deep box that goes inside uh, and this makes definitely makes things a whole lot easier as far as pulling things out from the box are concerned so when you're playing this game uh, hopefully that makes your life a whole lot easier right so we're done with most of the stuff that came in that deluxe box itself we do still need to have a look at the poker chip so let's do that right now uh, so let's bring this guys into the fold so this i assume is just the box as of now and the poker chips are actually in there so we'll confirm that as soon as we can crack into it all right let's have a look okay so 
So the shrink packs off again from the artwork uh, because we've seen sort of like that game box over there. Uh, we have the queen, you have the Mad Hatter, you have uh, Alice. Uh, so everything looks familiar, so that's good. Now, I assume there's a clasp here that might open. There we go. And I think it's a magnetic uh, clasp that does that, so that's good. I'll maybe just bring it in closer so that you guys can have a proper look here, so you can see. That right there is the clasp. It's a snug fit, so that's good. We flip it open. Uh, we get to see... Uh, quick orientation of how the poker chips are meant to go in here and uh, I was right by the look of things so we do get an insert here but the poker chips are still not here at this moment so we need to put all of those out like so so let's move this aside and again this is also uh, done by game craze uh, just in case if you're curious you get to see uh, the game craze uh, logo in there right so Definitely an attractive looking box, definitely sturdy. I wonder if once all of this is sort of like, you know, repackaged and whatnot, if this is something that we can actually slot in there. I'll, I'll maybe just do a quick check and see if that is something that might be doable. It is, it does feel like it might fit, although it is a little, huh, I don't know. It's, it almost gives you the sense that it is about to just go in and then it just doesn't. So we'll, we'll figure that out later. Right. Poker chips. Let's have a look at what these look like. So uh, for those of you who might be expecting that uh, delivery still to come in, so just make sure that you check for this in your container because you will get that large box, which is going to be all the game components. You will get this, uh, but your poker chips are not going to be in here. So you want to make sure that you pull this out before you throw that big box uh, outside of wherever it is that you might be throwing it out. So, uh, all of these come in this one giant bag, and I can see that there are smaller bags in here. So, we'll crack into that. Right, so we get a lot of them. Let's check out this. I like, I like the color black in general, so I'm gonna go for this first. So, these are all obviously the same. Uh, hopefully, you can make it out from the sound. They're definitely, so, they're definitely chunky and nice, so it does feel good. There is uh, not a lot of heft to it, simply given sort of like the fact that uh, the size of these are not that big. Uh, these are double-sided, so that's good. Uh, these are definitely on the smaller end as far as poker chips are concerned, but these are, they do feel like legit poker chips. Uh, it's, it's not wood or anything of that sort. It is what you would expect poker chips to feel like, but they're small, uh, not as heavy, but again, I would say that the heft uh, and the weight is standard for what you would expect of something that is this size. In fact, they remind me in terms of size uh, with the, the new Age of Steam uh, poker chips that you get in that box, a slightly similar size, although that might be a little, uh, the thickness might be a bit different, but uh, size-wise, if you've seen that, uh, you should have a good sense of what this is uh, all about. So you have this in the box, and maybe we'll just have a look at a, a couple more to see the kind of artwork we get on these chips, which is going to be nice. Let's have a look at this one. This is a, a bright and one that looks like my pop a little bit easier on the camera. So we'll bring that up. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, they definitely look nice. The quality of the artwork is uh, certainly decent for what's on it. It doesn't feel low resolution or anything of that sort. Uh, I like it. I'm, I'm quite happy. Uh, I would definitely be happy digging my hand into the bag pulling out these poker chips and playing a back building game in general. So uh, overall, I'm not going to go through all of these, uh, but there's there's definitely a lot of them to get through. But overall, very, very happy with the quality of what uh, I've seen inside the box so far. Again, I would have expected nothing less of uh, uh, this particular publisher based on uh, some, like some of the work that they've uh, done recently as well. But if you have this coming, uh, if you're looking to pick this up in retail, I think you're still going to be happy with the quality of the punch board, the cards, and all of that stuff, because that should be common with everything. Uh, although you might not get the miniatures, but uh, you do get sandies that will look attractive enough. And if you do have the Kickstarter deluxe version coming in with the poker chips and whatnot, you will definitely be happy with what's inside the box over here. Uh, it's definitely a game that I'm excited to crack into uh, and sort of like learn the rules and get to the table and play it myself uh, soon on a nearby future date. Uh, we'll see where that ends up landing. But 
I do hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing and this give you a good sense of what's coming inside the box if you uh, want to pick this up or looking to play this or whatever it is that you might be looking to do with this one. So thanks for watching. If you do have any thoughts, comments, suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. And if you did enjoy this video and you do want to see more uh, exclusive unboxings of uh, sort of like, you know, this bigger box kind of uh, games or regular retail ones as well, or uh, tutorials, uh, I have a whole bunch of those or reviews. Uh, I definitely have those going up on a regular basis. And also, if you're interested in videos of video games, I have a lot of those on my channel as well. It's generally all about gaming. So if you're into that kind of stuff, you will definitely enjoy what's on the channel here. Do subscribe to it and stay up to date on what's coming up. In the meanwhile, thanks for watching, and I will see you at the next one. Take care.